Welcome to Gopher Sizes. So this is meant to be a series of exercises designed to help you get better at programming with Go. So what that really means is that I'm going to present you with a bunch of GitHub repos and each one's going to have a description. I'm just go ahead and pull one up. Each one's gonna have um, a description of some sort of problem. Now the problems are gonna range from maybe a mini web application, maybe creating a package that's designed to sort of offer some functionality um, or in this case, we're creating a little quiz game. So these are meant to be little fun exercises, nothing too crazy. Um, and they're designed to be things that can generally be done. I got a bug in the room. <laughs> uh, they're designed to be things that can be done in you know, a couple hours, maybe a day for each exercise. It, it really depends on your skill level. So I can't say for sure. What I can tell you is that I will be covering all of these whenever I code them myself in videos that are generally about an hour. Uh, me 30 minutes to an hour. So knowing that I can code them entirely in about that time means that, you know, maybe there's a little bit more time in thinking about it, looking at packages, researching. But if you already know all the packages, you could probably write it much quicker. Um, I, I don't really know what it's going to be. It's kind of up to you. What I do want to tell you before we get into this is just what to expect. And I want you to sort of just know what, you know, how to get the best, most out of all this. So first thing, we're going to have exercise details posted on GitHub, like I said. I really recommend going through and trying to code all these first. That usually means setting aside maybe two hours, three hours for each exercise, um, just to sit down and try to code something. And as I said before, a lot of these could be quicker, could be longer. It's really up to you. Um, but once you give it an honest shot, come back and check out the video and you know, for each different exercise and see how I code things. So you're gonna get to see me writing code in real time and talking about that code. So I'm gonna like explain why I'm looking at this package, why I'm using these functions, um, you know, what they're all intended to do. So you'll get to really learn why I'm, you know, what's going through my head as I write these things. And I try to keep that mostly unfiltered. So this isn't going to be like a really high quality course where, you know, it's all, you're seeing the 20th iteration of everything. It's gonna be me kind of in real time saying, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here, but this is what I'm gonna try. And that's intentional. I really just want you to see that because there are so many polished courses out there where you don't get to learn from the mistakes. You don't get to learn from, you know, developer just trying something to see what happens. So I'm gonna try to do that here, even though I might look like an idiot. So sorry if I look like an idiot. Um, the second thing which goes in line with this is do not try to write production grade perfect code. Um, I might eventually add some videos or you know, add additional parts to these exercises that sort of go into that. But the first version of everything is intended to just be uh, what I call the spike phase. Uh, basically, we're just writing something that works and so we can see what the problem is, how to solve it, what all the moving parts are, that sort of thing. We're trying to learn more about the problem we're solving and just get something working. That's about it. Now, you shouldn't intentionally write crappy code. You shouldn't intentionally make things that are not testable. So that means we don't really want package level variables in everything we write, um, you know, because we know that's generally not a good idea. But, you know, we, we still don't want to make everything perfect. There might be times where I write code where it's like, all right, I probably should have moved that to a function, done it a little bit different so it'd be easier to test, but I won't in the first pass. That's completely fine. And whenever you write your code, you should keep that in mind. Um, what I will say is that once you do get that first version written, what ends up happening for me and for pretty much every developer I know is that they'll write that first version, they'll just get it sort of working, they'll understand everything, and then they'll go back through and do a refactor. And in the refactor, that's when they actually start breaking things into, all right, how do I make this a function that's testable? Um, how do I make this easy to maintain? How do I make it easy for other developers to understand it? And sometimes it's even, what of this, you know, what code here really needs to be moved to a different package or needs to be, you know, broken into a package, some of it needs to, some of it doesn't. Um, maybe you just organize code really poorly. All those things happen to pretty much every developer as they go through coding. And you know it's okay when that happens. It's just a matter of before you submit it to a production application, you know, to a big company's code base or something like that, you really need to take a step back and then look at how you can fix that stuff. So I said this, mentioned it briefly earlier. What I might try to do eventually is come through and do some code review type videos where first video is just writing the first pass of all these programs. The second pass would be a code review where we look at how can we take that program and turn it into something that we'd actually be happy submitting to, you know, a, a large code base. And for those who knows what's going to end up happening there, I'd love to get other developers to help out with that code review process. But, you know, obviously I don't know what's going to happen. So we'll, time will tell with that. So just to reiterate, try to code the exercises, you know, spend some time on them. Uh, then watch the videos 
and do not worry about writing perfect code. Trust me, it's not necessary to learn from this, and you're gonna learn a lot just going through the exercises and seeing how they work.